Hello mathematicians, welcome back to now video. This is the first video I'm going to record here in my new studio, the first math related video. Let's let's put it like this. And obviously I still have to set some things up. I don't know if the light is kind of distracted right, right here or if my um, floor makes any kind of weird um, sounds. Uh, just take a look at this. Okay, so I still have some uh, fixing up to do, but um, this is going to happen pretty soon. Our first video is going to be an improvised session and it's this integral. It has been lying there in my planned list for like uh, four months by now or so, but I really didn't get around recording it because of other stuff I had to do, advent calendar, etc. And, and we are going to give it a shot today. Okay, a subscriber sent this to me via my email pike with three at papaflamy.engineer. And yeah, we are going to dive right in, improvised session. And I kind of have a little hunch on how to do this. We are going to see if it turns out correctly. Let us take a look. So, um, at first we have this um, infinite summation right here, this, this series in here. And, and let us see if there's a certain pattern that we could go with, well, it's, it's just summation of e to the negative k times x, okay, where our k runs from zero to infinity. So let's rewrite this. This is the kind of obvious step. He, he said it's not complicated, but it turns out to be quite a nice answer in the end. And, with, and as always with those improvised sessions, I don't know what I'm going to get. So we have the summation where k starts from zero up until infinity, infinity boy of e to the negative k times x. Integrate with respect to x. Okay, um, it's quite obvious what is going to be. Okay, this is e to the negative x to the kth power and overall we have some um, y to the kth power. So this is just a geometric series. It also converges on this interval, so we can turn it into a geometric series, what we have here. So this already is the geometric series, but we can put it into its close form, okay? Um, it's generating function, basically. So this is the one from zero to infinity, the integral of the natural log of one over one minus e to the negative x, dx. Okay, um, okay, uh, this is actually, uh, Okay, um, what, what I'm thinking, we could bring the negative exponent to the outside. So this, what we have in here is nothing but one minus e to the negative x to the negative one power overall. So let's bring the negative one to the outside. And overall, we are going to be left with what we have right here. Okay, um, let us move on. How could we integrate this? So I mean the best thing we could do e to the negative x is between 1 and 0. So if we were to put this into Taylor series and this Taylor series converges uniformly in the strip so all we would have to do is check if it also holds on 0 but you can do some limit interchanging um, arguments here just like I did in my master's faces. So uh, let us take a look at the uh, Taylor series of natural log. So log of one minus x. If it's in the radius of convergence, let me think. So the first derivative is going to provide us with a negative sign, but most of the negative signs when differentiating um, go away. If we have the positive right here, it's going to be um, the, the alternating thing. So if I remember correctly, the Taylor series or McLaurin series of the logarithm of one minus x would thus be k running from one to infinity of x to the kth power over k. Um, I always have to think about what the Taylor series expansions actually are because of the logarithm. They are, they are basically free if you have a positive sign right here or just the logarithm um, of x and then for example um, being turned into Taylor series at 1. But this should be the right one. So negative and negative is going to cancel out, leaving us with the integral from 0 to infinity of the infinity boy starting at 1. And our x in our case is e to the negative x. So e to the negative k times x over k integrated with respect to x. And yeah, um, like I said before, basically on this interval, our natural log, our Taylor series converges. Um, also, it 
it converges uniformly in the strip. All you would have to do is check with the lower bound right here, turn it into an epsilon, then it converges uniformly. You can interchange it freely and then you just have to see if the limit as epsilon approaches zero is the same as, um, yeah, with the infinity point here. That's basically what you have to do. So let us interchange um, under the condition that everything converges, blah, 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 um, those infinite series and this integral. Let us interchange this. Also one over k is independent of x. We can bring it to the outside. So k being greater or equal to one, one over k integral from zero to infinity e, oh yeah, e to the negative k times x. And this is actually integrable. So what we have right here on this last part is nothing other than negative one over k e to the negative kx evaluated from zero to infinity. On infinity, obviously this goes to zero, this exponential, and on zero it's going to be a one, negative and negative becomes positive. So <laughs> I, I see why you said that it's going to be a, a nice answer. So this right here is nothing but the infinity boy of one over k squared. And this is nothing other than theta of two, Riemann theta of two. And this is nothing other than pi squared over six. And I hope this is correct. I mean, he, he said that it's going to be a nice answer and I think this is pretty nice, okay? Just like 69 or 420, it's, it's pretty nice if you ask me. And this, I think, concludes the improvised session. I'm going to check with Wolfram Alpha if it's going to spit something out. I don't think that I can put it into this form, but I can probably put it into Wolfram Alpha in this form and it should spit something out. Maybe there's also a Wikipedia article on this integral right here. Maybe it, it uh, is a representation of the basal problem. If it is, then I'm going to find it on Wikipedia probably. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, recommend channel for like. If you want to support channel a bit more, buy those t-shirts I created. They are pretty nice. Or um, support channel on Patreon. And I thank you guys for watching. I hope you are going to stay with me and this channel for quite a while longer. And I'm going to see you on the next video here filmed in this new studio. Ah, oh, I'm so proud to have a little blackboard here. Fine. Mm, it's so hot. <laughs> That's hot. Up until the next video, have flamble day. Ciao. I can't walk there because there's a cable running, so I have to use my left hand now. This is quite weird. Oh, this is so weird. Ciao. So we now got ourselves a little paddling boat and there's trash swimming around and we are this far away from the land. And yeah, it's, it's fun. Yeah, and you see I'm I'm doing all those sweet moves here. I'm, I'm, yeah, doing leg day today. Um, I'm using my handy camera right now, my mobile phone camera, because I didn't want to get my rear camera on the boat.